Got it. <sighs> Our happy spot, Jackie Selby. It's the dog days of summer. It looks like it's going to storm here in the Mile High City. Welcome to your weekly dose of informed opinion. We are the only podcast that offers 0% financing. And that's because cash retains its value. Well, except for inflation, 25%. Anyway. Anyway. Mm. With me, as always, is the, is that a new shirt? <laughs> it's the new shirt, Selby. Say that five times fast. New shirt Selby, new shirt Selby, new shirt Selby, new shirt Selby, new shit Selby. Shelby, shit. Shelby, shit. Nice job. I got got the four. You got four out. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome uh, to all out there in the land of the informed. Yes. Thank you for tuning by. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We've had a uh, eventful week. We think we've got a, a good list of informative topics to discuss, cover, um, maybe enlighten you, maybe enter- even entertain you a little bit. If you're, if you're not, if you're one of those people that is, when I'm out telling people about the podcast and they're like, oh, Thursdays, yeah, that's the night I do my laundry. And oh, I, can't, God's sake. I can't, you can find all of the past episodes on Spotify search informed opinion you can find us on youtube and um j- or you just go straight to my website scottleisure.com and you can go through to any of the right to our spotify click 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 it's not it's not that it's not rocket science okay, somebody asked me today i said yeah I talk, we talk about that i have a podcast and da, da, da. and the person said is it live so different people want to know different things about it Yes, it's live. And then we rebroadcast. It's pretty simple. I said, yeah, you can hear past episodes, blah, blah, blah. It doesn't matter. They, I just don't know where the question is coming from. Does it matter if it's live or if it's Memorex? Nobody I, even knows what that means anymore. <laughs> I thought the whole gist of having a podcast was you could listen to it whenever you want. Mm-hmm. Sure. Call, call me crazy. Selby. No, but it's fun because people tune by the show live to see what, you know, what kind of shirts we're wearing, I guess, and to see how hydrated we are. Okay, speaking of drinks, dude, I found the best drink. Mm. Look at you drinking that in front of the green screen. That's pretty cool. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. I speaking found the of best, drinks. I spe- found the best drink. It is called um, Concord Grape. Okay. By New- Newtson. Okay. It's organic. Okay. Read read the ingredients. Grapes. <laughs> Juice from whole organic Concord grapes. That's the nectar of the gods there, Sylvie. You know how you t- if you drink a grape soda? Mm-hmm. That's an imitation flavor. Grape chewing gum, grape popsicle. That's an imitation flavor. What they're imitating is this. Sorry, you can't see it because I, I have the blur feature on. The blur feature is on, but that's okay. We uh, we get it. We'll, Can you we'll see put... the grapes on there? Those look real. For the real love grapes. of God, try this stuff. It's so good. You could water it down. If if you just want to have a little bit of grape flavor, but I'm going full on, full bore. <laughs> Straight no chaser, man. Oh my hell. That's Look at good. you go. Let's uh maybe we'll find a link uh where people can buy it and we'll put it up on the Facebook page. Hey, I can do that. You can buy it. I get mine at yeah, the that's regular right. grocery you, store. You can do that. Jackie posts on the on the Facebook page. I post post on I post on the Facebook page. Mm-hmm. Say that five times fast. Post on the Facebook page. We uh we've become a little little more active, I would say, and having some fun with our posts. So uh, get on there, subscribe, 
And yeah, that's enough of the shameless self-promotion for now. Okay, let's okay. get right into that old, what's his name, having a stroke right there on camera. How about old that? Old people, that is number one on the list, old people. Wow. Listen, yeah, they've what... got to get these old people out of Washington. Yeah, okay. I mean. What's his name gets up there and has a stroke right in front of people. Did you just say term limits on the bottom of the cup? <laughs> they, what they need is some sort of a limitation <laughs> to the number of terms that they can serve. Oh my gosh, that is clever of you. Look at the bottom of the cup. <laughs> you know, it is almost like uh, that would be like a solve <laughs> to all of it. If you were limited to your terms, then you wouldn't be able to get old in Congress. That was weird. Did you look really close at that video though? Did his eyes blinked like this they were doing mm -hmm. the sideways blink. they were doing the side blink weren't uh -huh, they? Uh -huh. that motherfucker is not real <laughs> whatever happened to the lady on the plane anyway i don't know we need i guess we need to ask carrot top he was on the on the flight as well carrot top was on that yes. flight mm -hmm. <laughs> term limits <laughs> oh scott you uh you thrill me you are so funny <sighs> okay so it wasn't it's not just what's his name getting up there and having a stroke but it's old what's his name shuffling across and falling down everywhere he goes oh yeah 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 what's that guy's name i i and then what well, about F feinstein she was off of work for like three months and she didn't even know it yeah but you know what who turned 80 years old this week and could kick all their asses right out of washington uh, mick we're talking about oh, no. jagger mick, mick jagger yeah look at that guy he's 80 years old here's the difference okay he gets constant physical activity with all that dancing in the streets that he does. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I guess you're right. Anyway. And how old, how old was Tina Turner, his partner in crime on that song? She lived a long time. She just died. Yeah, how is it the rockers? I mean, but look at Keith Richards. I mean, and look at, yeah, he might do all the physical activity, but... You know, he always has a smoke in his hand. He's definitely seen a few parties here and there. He's so happy, though. His ha his life is so happy. But you know what I mean? Compare those guys to the white hairs <laughs> and the and, you know, the people that are zoning out. How can how can that even happen, though? The guy gets up to do a speech and he zones out then. How come he doesn't zone out when he's trying to pick out a shirt in his bath bathroom or his bedroom or something? I don't it has know. to I be feel right like, then. It's I, it I feel almost like he, yeah. is a little suspicious. You know when Dr. Buzz <laughs> backstage at all the concerts at Red Rocks and all that stuff, he would give them all. We talk about this all the time. He would give the stars that come to Red Rocks and who are strung out on heroin or they're having um dehydration issues or they just can't perform one more night without losing their voice he gave them a shot of vitamin b in the ass uh -huh. he carried around those little syringes <laughs> and that's how stevie nicks anybody pick one any star all the thousands of people that played at at red rocks is they had a, a shot of vitamin b in the ass so he must have been running out of vitamin b so if the dude at Red Rocks can figure out to give Stevie Nicks, who basically <laughs> blew cocaine into her brain at Red Rocks, a shot of vitamin B, how come they can't figure out to do that with, with the suits in Washington? I think they're giving them all they can. I mean, everything they can to make them still stand up there. I just can't believe they're still parading old shuffle feet around. It's just embarrassing. Well, I mean... And Somebody, believe me, I don't think the comb over is any answer. You know, I'm not a comb over person. I was watching a video of Joe Biden. You sent it to me, the one with all the lies in it. Oh, isn't that true? And fantastic. Yeah, but when he's younger, he has less hair than he has now. Where did that hair come from? I don't know. I took a makeup class in, in college and we, you know, we used cotton balls look at his ears in the old videos too hmm. mm -hmm. and we his know. eyebrow his eye line the whole thing is different if you compare his older pictures you know by the way that story on all the lies that he told was done by 60 minutes mm -hmm. yeah like 25 yeah. years ago all the lies he told in congress this is long before it was ever <clears throat> long before his lies today 
Yeah, that's right. It's almost like he has been taken over by some sort of extraterrestrial or something. Mm, some sort of UAP. Can't some even call them UFOs now. I watched about, oh, it was a over a two hour clip on YouTube. And I think Zoomer joined bits and pieces. Mainly it would have, it, I watched about an hour and a half, close to two hours of it probably. Uh, the, if you missed UFO it. Dis, UFO disclosure mm -hmm. um, thing. And Oddly enough, which happened <clears throat> on the very same day that uh, Hunter Biden, <laughs> Hunter Biden's um, case for dismissal was thrown out of court. And it was the same day that the guy, and the guy had the, you know, the stroke, McConnell. So what goes to the headlines? <laughs> ah, it's almost like a... it's almost like a script. Hmm. Either way, the U.S. recovered non-human bodies, you know, from these crash sites. Yeah. Yeah. And you know what else I learned in watching that? Two we former presidents, Jimmy Carter and Gerald Ford, both have you know UFO. claimed to have have seen ufos i don't oh, know if reagan they, too say yeah and i Nixon. don't know to what extent i don't know if there was an abduction i don't know if there was any probing but <laughs> uh I, I that's they didn't go that deep on the hearing yesterday all i can say is if the government has a hearing about something it's probably full of a lot of horse poo because we knew about aliens in 1947 actually they knew about them in biblical times we uh yeah stonehenge <laughs> um <laughs> yeah well the zoomer and i went to the museum there are there are there are particles of that ship in that museum so we that's we right that. you went you went to there's the museum. Re there's recordings it's sure inexplicable it is and now all of a sudden here oddly enough mitch mcconnell has a stroke uh the uap uh farce happens mm -hmm. and uh hunter biden his case got thrown out mm -hmm. for hmm. dismissal hmm. um hmm. Hmm. it's just so crazy all the things that could have been on the news and sinead o'connor dies yeah, that's sad. That I mean, that's just more sad than anything. And she was, wasn't she banned? She was kicked off a of Saturday Night Live, right? She, they told her not to come back. She was ridiculed her entire career because of that. Mm -hmm. But she knew that was going to be the case. And how far ahead of her time was she on that tearing up of the Pope thing? Wow. But that was a badass Prince song. That was mm -hmm. one badass Prince song. That... That we don't even need to open the book tonight. If you've not heard Sinead O'Connor's cover of the Prince song that she, I don't mm -hmm. know did, if he recorded it or not. I have some Prince fans out there. We can yes. find out to oh, get yes, that he information recorded out. It. Yeah. yeah, he recorded um, it. Yeah. But just a great song, just beautiful song. And and she 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 covered it and it was dude. It was mm -hmm. Okay. She was around in the 80s. I used to play her song Mandinka on the radio. I am that kind of an old person. And also in the nightclubs. That's the really great song, Mandinka. But anyway, she, she's she been around a long time and she's been active in human rights and in uh, children's rights and just so many things. And her swan song, I don't know if you're aware of this because you don't watch Outlander, do you? No. Okay. She sang the um, opening theme song for Outlander, which is the seventh year, seventh season. And um, she was really caught a lot of crap for it because, well, anybody can just go to Outlander, go to YouTube, go anywhere and type in Outlander theme song because she doesn't have an operatic voice. You know what kind of voice she has. And um, anyway, the creators of Outlander took a lot of flack for having her sing the song, but it is heartfelt and you could just feel every inch of her being and her soul in that song. So go to YouTube and play it. Or we that can is put, her swung song. 
well, let's put that up too. Okay. Let's make a list of things we need to put on on the page. Okay. So people can interact a little more. I have a pen. <laughs> I have paper and I also have cash in my wallet. My bank is switching over and there's still some sort of process that they're completing at the ATMs. So there, I've only, of the three ATMs I can go to, only one of them is working. So I rolled the dice today because I wanted to get my cash out for the week early. Yep. And I, of course, went to one that I thought would be up and running and it was not. So that means I will have to go to the Walgreens so I don't get charged a finance fee. Good. A Walgreens will give you the cash out of your account? Well, my bank has an ATM in that Walgreens, so. All right. You want a picture of the grape juice label, huh, for the... It is a... You know, it's an effort that Jackie and I are trying to get out there. And people, I don't know if they're getting sick of the cash stuff, but don't care. Really, well, yeah, we don't care. We don't care because we are doing this for you. We're trying to help you out. We're trying to keep you from becoming just a statistic, just another blip. Okay. Here's keep the thing cash real, keep cash alive, and as much as you can, do the thing. If you have to send a check, you know, send a check. I do that. Or or, mm -hmm. or a money order. They mm -hmm. still make money orders. Yep. There's no bank fees associated when you pay cash. And in fact, I got a nice discount at the um, gas station the other day. Oh, yeah, I saw that. Did you see that on, on mm -hmm. our Informed Opinion Facebook page? Because they have a little sign up that says, come inside and save. So you get a discount for paying cash for the gas. So I, I it's the same way I traveled across the country, you know, um, from that side to this side. Mm -hmm. And uh, I stopped at gas stations and paid cash. So I would go inside to every gas station and say, I want $25 on pump number three or whatever. Yeah. And it, it was so much fun. And that's what I did the other day. And the guy was like, oh, sure. 20 on number three. He was excited. <laughs> it's like I get to do something. Uh huh. And as we've been telling you, probably I would say 30 to 40% of the time when you pay cash, they give you the wrong change and you will come out ahead. You do come time. out ahead. Kids don't know how to, how to count yeah. back the cash. So a guy gave me 67 cents change yesterday and in nickels. 67 cents in nickels. Nickels. And two pennies. Okay. I was trying to do the math there and wasn't it wasn't adding up. Oh boy. 65, 66, 67. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Let's go to it, Jackie. I'm gonna share it. I, I Googled it and I'm gonna get this share up. So Oh, is it the cloud formation? Hold, please. All right. I had seen this. I mm. get Jackie's list of topics for the evening. I already knew that the uh, Mitch McConnell was going to be on. Okay, <laughs> I knew that was going to be on there. I knew the aliens were going to be on there. I kind of had an inkling that we'd be talking about Sinead O'Connor. This one, I had seen the clip and it did surprise me. So Jackie, straight up her. Her. um, Oh, my gosh. I will never win a medal in the Zoom Olympics. I will tell you that right now. That's OK. Um, it says number one, you know, number one, this number two, that number three. Dick Cloud. She just says <laughs> Dick Cloud. <laughs> oh <laughs> like, dear. Oh, we're we're going we're going down that road, are we? Here are the screen, Scott. Here we go. So so I go to the goggle and share screen. Here we go. This is what comes up. Okay. It's just like all of these dick clouds. Now they could oh. be Photoshop, some of these, but uh, which one did you see, Jackie, oh, on the video? Can you identify the dick cloud? Can I identify the penis I saw in the clouds? 
Yes. Nope. Look, this this guy's got his hands on it right nope, there. That, on the balls none of those. There. Nope. Mm -hmm. mm -mm. It wasn't any of those. This one's a whale that nope. looks like a dick cloud. Nope. Yeah, none of those. I had but, no idea. That but what's funny? Be so many dick clouds. <laughs> the people on the video in the dick cloud video, they are like. Yeah, it's not like when you look at this cloud, one person's going to be like, oh, I see a dragon. Oh, no, I see a puppy. Only, it's only one thing. All you see in this cloud is a giant dick. <laughs> oh, man, I had no idea there were so many dicks. <laughs> Holy smokes. Well, you know, <laughs> there's Dick know. Cheney. Yeah. There's Dick Van Dyke. There's Dick oh. Dale. I talked to Dick Dale uh, when we did the radio thing forever ago. He was cool. Yeah. Um, Dick Gebhardt. Sure. Dick Cavett. You know, there's Dick B Dick uh, Van Patten. Oh, sure. Lots of dicks. There's lots there's of lots dicks. Lots of dicks. Mm -hmm. You know. Dick Van Patten. Wow. Are you aging yourself? Okay. The shape of a cloud, Jackie, it's determined by air temperature density and movement mm -hmm. differences in temperature and density prevent water laden air from mixing with the surrounding air so they give clouds you know distinctive shapes and things uh the shape and appearance of the cloud depends on the shape of the rising parcel of air okay <laughs> so I, I couldn't figure, I couldn't find any information as to what actually produces a phallic shaped cloud or not. <laughs> it has something to do with the rising in the air, though, I think. <laughs> oh, man. If you've never seen the, the movie called The Dimming, I highly recommend that you do. It's all about clouds and stuff you see in the sky. The Dimming. This next portion of the podcast is brought to you by Viagra and by Cialis. Okay. Okay. Oh, what um, I brought. Are you this show one. the dick I saw. No, this is uh, this is the prop I brought down just because of the aliens. Oh, you like that? I couldn't get a green one because we would not show up on the green screen. So that's why I wore my green for all of the for all the aliens that were taken into custody by the United States government. And mutilated. Yeah. Well, that's mm -hmm. what they tell us. But you know what? That one lady who's had too many facelifts and who's always on the Gaia channel, who investigated all the all the stuff back in the 80s and 90s, mm -hmm. she says that they live among us. And they Holy. our government's collaborated with them, yes. And that we trade different elements like uh stuff that's in our earth that they need to survive on their world and then we get stuff from them that we need to survive on our world now if the government's trading with them there's no way we're ever going to find out hmm. oh no that bums me out i really want to know the answer to these mysteries oh yeah yeah i saw a funny video um I was just thinking of Area 51. Then I saw this video. You remember when they did all the atomic explosions? Mm -hmm. When Vegas was being built and it was in its early days, that was like a big thing that people would drive out and watch these atomic explosions. The tests, know? yeah. Mm -hmm. And then this guy was on and he's talking about, do you remember the old like black and white videos of the old atomic testings and they'd show the houses getting mm -hmm. you know swept away and and everything getting blown away well like how is that possible i mean wouldn't the camera that took the video and all that wouldn't that kind of get blown away too yeah i saw that that's a pretty good presentation uh it made me go hmm, hmm. i don't know it's just things that you know Jackie and I have some similar thinking modes. We like to be free thinkers. That is kind of what we do here on the podcast. We we bring up things that kind of will, you know, make you think and and think outside the box. So you're not just 
accepting and reading the information and taking information for what you think it's worth because it might not be it's called propaganda jackie yeah if you're watching mm -hmm. it on regular tv mm -hmm. listen <clears throat> go find that video called the dimming okay let's talk about it next week yeah oh i'll put that on the list of things on our um facebook page the Sinead o'connor intro song to outlander the grape juice label and the link to the dimming yeah i'm still waiting for a good stream to appear i might just have to go to the theater i, st I still haven't seen the um freedom movie which i will and then we'll have a good discussion about that i'm sure okay uh what's our quote you got a quote didn't you oh i do please hold let me please open the quote hold. i like to call these our prayer our prayer for the day what'd you do with it I have to ask myself. Jackie. There it is. Jack, it. Okay. You were zoning mm -hmm. out there for a minute. I was no, I found it. I was still there. I was, I was scrolling on my phone. Didn't know if you were getting abducted. <laughs> yeah. Didn't know if you were having a stroke. <laughs> having a Mitch McConnell moment. Yeah, I wonder, did they like shoot um an energy weapon at him to cause his eyes to go and him to stop talking right then so they'd have a new story? Oh my God. Would they do that? Ah. Uh. How did his eyes go again? With the sound what it what i <laughs> forgot which sound i made <laughs> <laughs> okay here's your quote of the day are we ending right here okay no just give us the quote no we're not ending crying out, crying out loud give us the quote hey come on sully only people who are not happy with themselves are mean to others remember that So anytime you watch a Karen video, mm -hmm. the Karens are just not happy with themselves. Yeah, they there's usually something else going on that triggers yeah. them. That's for sure. I'm saying. But, you know, those people, they can, they can choose that or they cannot. You know, you wake choose up. Choose nonviolence, people. When you wake up in the day, you've got a choice you know you can wake up and choose to do you know run a marathon if you want you can choose to wake up and you know go get a bloody mary you can choose to wake up to light up a smoke or do whatever you can choose to go for a walk so i mean you can choose to be happy and you can choose not to be happy so <sighs> karen's go away I was in line. This is not a Karen story, but it just made me think. I, Zoomer and I are, are going through the self checkout at at the local Kroger's yesterday. All right. Because that's where the free bags are. Free bags. Mm -hmm. And it was an extended line because, of course, nobody works, so there's no other check. There's like one other lane open, and it's uh -huh. of course like five thirty when everybody's at the store. Mm -hmm. So the self-checkout line, and there's six or eight registers at the checkout line. It's deep. So the flower department is right to my right. A lady comes over from the flower department, and she comes to us at the back of the line. She says, does anybody want to check out that doesn't have any produce? Because she has, like, no scale over there, obviously. She has okay. no way to check out produce. That's what I understood when she said no produce so when she said no produce that would mean that if you had produce that would eliminate you from the competition okay am i right yeah so what simple rules here mm -hmm. the guy in front of us his response is well i just have a little produce okay so that's where people's minds go Mm -hmm. you know well he wanted to he wanted to win that contest didn't he he did mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. he uh nobody nobody had nobody won the contest because everybody in line had produce but you can make a choice jackie you can wake up to eat produce you can choose to eat produce you can choose to eat from the circle k you know, 
True enough. And some do. It's up to you, people. You can choose to believe what you hear. You can choose not to believe what you hear. You can choose to listen to the podcast live. You can choose to listen to the podcast later. You can choose to listen to the podcast in your car. Or you can choose not to listen to the podcast. But if you're not listening, you're not going to hear your choices. Guess what tomorrow is? Fuck yeah, Cash Friday. Fuck yeah, Cash Friday. Mm -hmm. You heard it here first. Get some cash. Teach your kids how to use cash. Give them a $20 bill and let them buy something with it at the store. Speaking of Circle K, go in there and get a Twinkie pack and come back out here and bring me the change and count it back to me. Yeah, yeah. Listen to some prints. Drink your water. Um, Vote out the croonies. Cronies. Cookies. And... You know, do something good for yourself this week. Do something good for yourself and do something good for somebody else. Keep your eyes in the sky. What else? What other kind you of might, ever stupid things can we tell people? You might need, you might, you might see a dick cloud. You might see a UFO. <laughs> you yes, might see please. a UFO that's shaped, shaped like, like a, a dick. dick. Thank you. Just keep aware, people. Stay vigilant. The, um, Winnebago looking trucks that have all the shit outside of them. Those aren't taco trucks. Don't fall for it. When somebody tells you that you can get some really good tacos over there, they're cooking stuff in those trailers, but they're not tacos, not tacos. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Um, That's about it. That's about it. It goes so fast sometimes, Selby. I know we've done well today. You think I do. How about you? Well, I think so. Well, at least we tried and, and we gave our best. Yeah. You know, live by those four agreements, people. If you haven't read the four agreements, live by those. Always give your best. Uh, be impeccable with your word. I think we've been impeccable with our word. Don't make assumptions and don't take things personally. Okay. Breathe. Tune in next week. Subscribe on Spotify. Subscribe on YouTube. Stay informed, people. Informed opinion every Thursday, 6 o'clock. Jackie Selby and myself, Scott Leisure. Peace out. It's been a good one. And we'll uh, yeah, keep sending me that good, that good stuff. Jackie, keep sending those dick pics. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> and that's a wrap.